Hi Year 6, this is your video for Thursday's learning. We are carrying on with percentages, so to start off with I wanted to do a quick recap of uh, what we've learned so far, so 10%, uh, 30%, 25% and 75%. So pause the video and have a go at these. Okay, let's go through some answers. So to find 10%, we divide by 10. So 10% of 350 is 35. 30% is three lots of that, so it's 105. 25% of 32 pounds is eight pounds. And 75% is actually three times that amount, so it's 24 pounds. Well done if you got. Today we are moving on slightly. We're sticking with percentages, but we're starting to put all of our learning together. So we've covered fractions and decimals, and today we're gonna to put that together with percentages. Have a look at this 100. Can you write the fraction of this 100 square that is shaded in orange? So pause the video and write it as a fraction. Hopefully you recognize that there were 17 out of 100 squares that were shaded. So as a fraction, that gives us 17 hundredths. Now, as a percentage, let's think about and remember what percent means. Well, per means out of, and cent, remember, means 100. So we must make sure our fractions today are out of 100. Well, this one already is, it's 17 out of 100. So that means I can turn it straight away into a percentage. So 17 hundredths is the same as 17%. Let's have a look at another one. Now think about in this image, what's the same and what's different? So I want to know, first of all, what fraction is shaded then think about percent and have a go at turning it into a percentage. So similar to the last one, however this time it was a little bit different because it was split into 10, 10 pieces as opposed to 100. So my denominator must be tenths. Well, there was four bars out of the 10 that were shaded, so that gives me the fraction of four tenths. Now, thinking about our last bit of learning, we need to make sure that because we are turning it into a percentage, my denominator is 100, it is out of 100. So, we learned equivalent fractions. Let's have a think about what we have done to the denominator to get from 10 to 100. Well, we've multiplied it by 10. So we must do the same to the numerator. So four multiplied by 10 gives us 40. I now have a fraction that's out of 100, so I can turn this nice and easily into a percentage. 40 hundredths, or 40 out of 100, is equal to 40%. So the key learning today is that to turn a fraction into a percentage, it must be out of 100. So your fraction must have a denominator of 100. Pause the video and turn these fractions into percentages. This should have been nice and easy because all of my denominators are already 100. So 35 hundredths is 35%. 62 hundredths is the same as 62%. 99 hundredths is 99%. So that's only one uh, hundredth away from being full, complete. And then 7 hundredths, be careful with this one. It is 7% and not 70%. 70% would be 70 hundredths, okay? So let's see that written down. 70 hundredths is equal to 70%. So just watch out for that today, okay? Single digits, um, same as our percentage. This time I want you to have a go at doing it with the opposite way around. So you've got the percentages here, 41, 3%, 37 and 10%. And I want you to give me the fraction. So remember, the fraction is going to be out of 10. This one though, I want you to see if you can give me in its simplest form, so the fraction in its simplest form. Let's go through these. So the first one, 41%. Remember, our denominator needs to be out of 100. 41 per 100, so 41 hundredths. The next one, 3%, is equal to 3 hundredths. The next one, 37 hundredths. And this one is 10 hundredths, but I asked for it in its simplest form. You could simplify some of the others as well. Um, 
Oh, no, you can't. Sorry. So uh, you need to divide. You can spot that you can divide both of these by 10. So it gives us 1 tenth. Well done if you got that. Next up, we've got some more fractions that I want to turn into percentages. So similar to before. However, this time, my denominators aren't already hundredths. So I need to create some equivalent fractions. So to start off, I've got 3 twentieths. I know I need my denominator to be hundredths. So, 20 multiplied what gives me 100? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 multiplied by 5. Whatever I do to the denominator, I must have sent to the numerator. So we times this by 5, and that gives us 15. I've now got a fraction with a denominator 8 of 100, so I can turn it straight into a percent, which is 15%. We'll now have a go at the next one. So 7 25ths, so the same, I need my denominator to be hundredths. What have I done from 25 to get to 100? Well, I've multiplied it by 4. Must do the same to the top. 7 multiplied by 4 gives us 28. I now have a fraction with a denominator of 100. That equals 28%. So I want you to pause the video in a moment and have a go at these next fractions, turning them into percentages. Remember, we need the fraction to have a denominator of 100. Let's start off with 4 fiftieths. 4 fiftieths, equivalent fraction into hundredths, I times the bottom by 2, most of the same to the top, which gives me 8, which is 8%. Next one, 11 25ths. We looked at 25ths, we must multiply that by 4 to get the denominator as 100. Do the same to the numerator, which gives us 44. 44 hundredths is 44%. Next two are a little bit trickier. So this time I've got 3 fifths. I could do this in two stages. I could turn this into 50ths because that's nice and easy. So let's do that. So if I turn it into 50ths, so I've times it by 10. The same to the numerator, but I'm not finished because I need to be over um, 100. So this time I multiply by 2, do the same to the top, gives us 60. 60 hundredths is 60 percent. You might have been able to go straight from fifths to hundredths, you would have had to times by 20. So if you did that, that's fine. And the last one, 14 out of 200. The same applies, even though at the moment it's bigger than, I still want my denominator to be out of 100. So let's see, from 200 to 100, this time rather than multiply, I've got to get smaller. I've divided by 2, it's half of that. So I must do exactly the same to my numerator, 14 divided by 2, which gives us 7. And then 7 hundredths as a percentage is 7%. Well done if you got those. That's it for today's learning. Your task is over on Purple Mash, it's a quiz. Things to remember for today are percent means out of 100, so your fraction must have a denominator of 100, and vice versa. So good luck with today. If you have any problems, please let us know, um, and you might need some paper to do your working out.